This week on Sailing Lady Africa. A lot of people say they're tired of watching me and Ricky work on the boat. A little bit of an update on what's happening with the with why we haven't left yet. You guys are the original hippies. <laughs> I came in like a wrecking ball. I think I've died and gone to paradise. Welcome to Sailing Lady Africa. I'm Ricky and this is my wife Simone. After two years of hard work on our boat, she's finally ready to take us from South Africa across the Atlantic to the Bahamas. Be sure to join in our adventures by subscribing down below. What are you doing? You don't know what you're doing? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to work on the lashings for the rigging. I want to put these chafe sleeve covers on. These chafe sleeve covers? They're chafe sleeve covers, what was I tell you? Is it chafing a bit more? Yeah, the, these sheets are chafing, the Geno sheets are chafing. So I'm just going to build up some of these lashings and get them extra tight. So we're just closing, tightening this up because it chafes on the shroud and then we're going to put that pipe that Ricky showed you guys so it will protect it from getting damaged. It's pretty much the similar to the stuff that we put here on our lifelines, just thicker. A lot of people say they're tired of watching me and Ricky work on the boat but that's what it takes if you don't want crap to break on you. <laughs> it's working, maintenance, all the time. Instead of enjoying those lovely tropical destinations that we're dreaming of, you'll be working the whole time. But if you work a little bit every day, then you can actually enjoy those tropical locations. New boats are always good at least for three years. At least for three years. But it's still maintenance. <laughs> It's not maintenance free, don't you? That's why you buy a boat. First out, another thousand. Ten thousand. That's, that's gotten so hard, it's like freaking rock, rock, rock hard. Yeah. Eh? It feels like a solid cable, like solid plastic. So, all I've taken here is the same stuff you use for normal standing rigging, it's just PVC sheaves and just put it over it to eliminate we had our Genoa sheet that was busy rubbing up against here and obviously this being Dyneema contact chafe at all it starts fraying out so hopefully this will solve the problem that we had sailing down here not one size bigger this one's slightly small but it'll be good for now for the testing the weather holds tomorrow we're gonna go out a little bit of an update on what's happening with the with why we haven't left yet and there was a good reason and most of you know now we were waiting for crew if you guys might have remembered in one of the previous episodes there was someone that helped us out to 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 get two engines into lady africa and the company was U utah home ag act is glenn and i said to him on that day anything you want whenever you want to do a trip the the boat's yours anytime. Glenn and I got chatting after that and Glenn said that he would like to do an Atlantic crossing and in particular he'd like to do at least a trip from Cape Town to Namibia with his boys and I think it's it's a freaking awesome time to get some of that uh, father and son bonding and um, so all three of them are yeah. Wade is missing in action at the moment he's busy writing his last exams or so and he finishes up on in later in November and then that's what we're waiting for at the moment and not only that but we're also waiting for our SAMHSA documentation to come through so that um, we can cruise and we can cruise legally doing it so a lot of other countries around the world don't require a lot of paperwork and stuff and um, South Africa there's a few a few um, hoops that we need to jump through and really just get it done we said it when we brought Rob down that um, it, we can't always offer the, the trips to everyone but when we do get a chance to offer a trip and um, I think it's awesome to spend those 
give that time to the people that believed in us and helped us out so it, it goes a long way and uh, yeah that's the reason why we got crew is because people that helped us out so we want to say thank you to them now we just gotta wait for waiting we're rocking and rolling it's been epic and we made some very good friends during this lockdown and, and we created it's some your mom's on the phone but I can miss it. <laughs> it's a <like> glenn <laughs> he's such a legend <laughs> And uh, we're really looking forward to the trip. I think it's going to be a freaking epic trip. After putting the boys through a ringer, we decided it was time to take a break and go exploring and hike Newlands Forest. This place was every dog's dream. And it definitely tested our balance. Taking a little hike in Newlands Forest, enjoying the peaceful scenery. Run, run! <laughs> and um, super nice out. It's all dizzy and wet, wet today, but sets the atmosphere. Be sure to hit that subscribe button below and click on the notification bell to alert you every time we upload a new episode. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. It's a free way you can support our channel. Got a piece of root and someone's struggling with it. Put it to the back. I'll tie it up with a piece of root. Nice you guys are the original hippies. <laughs> Children of the forest. Oh. Yeah. Wait, my root already broke. You need one that's like flexible. This one's flexible. It's like a piece of grass. That's actually not fair. Do you forget your hair time? Yeah. I think that's a good job. Aww. Oh. Old. Oh. 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 Just New head decoration. Head. We're all out on the trail and I look back and this is what I see. Check that. Burrito. <laughs> Busy chowing his burrito. <laughs> Snack time. Awesome. That's pretty sweet. Check at this. Freaking nuts Did this place. Oh shit. <laughs> someone left their underwear gone. It's a mask. Huh? I know it's a mask. It's a hammock. It's a squirrel's, squirrel's hammer. Hey, there we go. There we go. Is that organic? Straight from heaven to oh, my fun. lips. Is it whole grain? Wheat free. Oh yeah. It's, it's free. actually really nice. Sugar free, taste free. It's actually very nice. That's good. Okay. We've got two people with cholera. We can go. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us what you found, Glenn. Spotted Newlands leopard. Uh, fresh tracks. It's a female. Um, yeah, it hasn't eaten in three days. We better get out of here. <laughs> so I think that spotted that spotted line is the what is it? A Newlands, Newlands Labrador. Newlands Labrador. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's CrossFit nature. CrossFit nature. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt yourself. I <laughs> say. Let him, let him fall, Glenn. Let him drop. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Getting the last of PE off before we leave. Eight months later, and we're still removing manganese ore from PE off our moss. Pipe attached, up Ricky goes. Okay, up. Ooh. got a little bit of a spray. Oh. <laughs> he's a funny guy. He thinks he's a funny guy. We gotta test our sails today, so we're going out for a sail and uh, it's gonna be fun. We've got Glenn and Gray with us. So we're gonna test everything and make sure everything's running smoothly. A little test run again since we've been here in Cape Town. We haven't really gone out because of lockdown. So now we're gonna do a thorough testing and potentially dump in and give a whole bit of a scrub and the tailors. It was a super magical day, so we were super excited to take the boat out and go anchor next to Clifton Beach. Let's go straight in. The water was just a little bit above freezing for me and Gray, but luckily Ricky and Glenn volunteered to scrub the holes. We would definitely recommend using the PPG anti fouling. Everything came off with ease and there was no barnacle growth. Crazy guys, I was dumping it and keeping the hole. Me and Gray tuned. Can you give me another brush, please? More and more boats decided to join us at the anchorage to soak up some sun.
Do you guys house crab? I'm still warming up, defrosting. It's like yeah. taking the icicles out of the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> After having a little bit of a break, the boys were at it again and carried on scrubbing. Lady Africa is clean and ready for Namibia. We're in front of Clifton Beach right over there and after a good hull scrub me and Glenn decided it's barbecue time so we got some pork and some chorizo on the grill He's dressed like he's going to I'm warming up my chili butt <laughs> That water's cold, that water's super cold Good, to perfection. Eh? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think I've died and gone to paradise. Then Clifton eating best to research in Southern. Mama Sita, que se pasa? Look at this chow. Simone's prepared. Don't forget to subscribe below already if you haven't and give this video a big thumbs up and if you'd like to join our Lady Africa family you can click on any of the links in the description below. Adios amigos. Adios. Do your favorite signature thing. Do it.